QuickBooks Training, Bank Reconciliations by Small Business Navigator. All right, this is John Whiteley. And in this video, we're going to review the important considerations for reconciling a bank account and also show a clip on doing an actual bank reconciliation in QuickBooks. So let's take a look at the key considerations. Later in the video, we have included a demonstration on how to reconcile a bank account in QuickBooks as created by Andy Platt. The bank reconciliation should be completed promptly upon receiving the bank statement from the bank. In some cases, the bank will not correct your account if reported after 30 days of issuing the statement. The bank reconciliation process reveals the bank charges and other debits and credits to your bank account, which need to be posted to your QuickBooks data file. You may also find debits for return checks from your customers which will need follow-up for payment. There can also be transactions posted to your statement which do not belong to your account and need adjustment by your bank. The bank reconciliation will disclose old outstanding checks which need to be investigated as to the reason for still being outstanding. Outstanding checks may indicate that a bill payable still exists and could affect your credit rating if not paid. Also, an outstanding check may indicate a duplicate posting, which can distort your general ledger account balances and tax reports. The tax auditor, as well as your CPA, may need to examine the bank reconciliations in order to verify the bank balance and other general ledger accounts. Overall, the procedure of reconciling your bank accounts is an important part of keeping an accurate set of accounting records in your business. Watch the following clip on reconciling a bank account in QuickBooks created by Andy Platt. And if you are unable to get help from your local accountant, then feel welcome to contact John Whiteley at the following websites for training and consultation. Hello, this is Andy Platt again. In this lesson, we're going to go over how to reconcile a bank account. We're going to assume that we received our bank statement in the mail, and the bank statement is going to be dated 12-31-16. We're using a future date here. The bank, the ending balance on the bank statement is showing as 106,515 and two cents. Uh, that includes a $5 service charge and $20 of interest income that are listed on the bank statement. All of our checks and deposits are listed on the bank statement except for these last six checks. Those are not listed on the bank statement. Those are outstanding checks. So we're going to make sure we remember that when we do our bank reconciliation. So I'm going into QuickBooks here to reconcile the bank account, the check-in account. I'm going to go into my, there's a few ways of going, here, going getting to this spot. I'm going to go into the banking section and click on reconcile or I could go up here to banking and click reconcile also up here. Let's go here, use the icon, click on reconcile. We can see this is for the checking account. It was last reconciled on November 30th. So now we're in December, December 31st is the date of the bank statement. The ending balance on that bank statement we said was 106,51502. That came from our bank statement. We said there was a $5 service charge listed on the bank statement and $20 of interest income. So we coded those, we coded the service charge to bank service charge expense account and we coded the $20 of interest income to our interest income account and the class uh, that's in a not different lesson so we'll talk about that in another lesson so now we've got out all of our information we've got an ending balance from the bank statement 106,515 
We've got our service charge from the bank statement, and we've got our interest income from the bank statement. I'll hit continue. And now it's just a matter of checking off everything that is on the bank statement. So what I would be doing now is looking at my bank statement, and I would be seeing these checks listed on the bank statement. Check number 110 was listed. This payment was listed of 675. Check number 1126 for 685 was listed. All these checks were listed except for those last six checks. Check number 111 through 116. So I'm going to leave those as unchecked. I'm not going to check those off. All of our deposits showed up on the bank statement. So we're going to check all of those off. They're all listed on the bank statement. And by checking off everything that's on the bank statement, all the checks, all the payments, all the deposits, putting in our service charge and our interest income, and not checking the items, or here's this last six checks, not, not checking those because they did not show up on the bank statement, so they're outstanding. Now if I look down at the bottom of the screen here, the difference is zero. And I'm going to reconcile my bank account now, my checking account. I click on reconcile now, and it tells me I can see two different reports, either a summary report or a detail report or both. I'm going to display the detail report. We could print it if we wanted to. Here it's just listing all the checks that cleared that are on the bank statement and all the and also the service charge and also it's listing all the deposits that are on the bank statement and at the bottom it's listing all the items that are uncleared that are outstanding those five, those six checks check numbers 111 through 116 and so now we've reconciled I could print this if I wanted to we've just reconciled our checking account if I go into the checking account now I could go here click on this checking account icon or name and I can see here I can sort this in a number of different ways but I can see everything that's cleared has a check mark here that tells me that it's been, that it's clear it showed up on the bank statement down here we have the interest income and the service charge and these six items these six checks 111 through 116 they are not checked off because they are outstanding and they should show up on, February, on January of 2017's bank statement. That's it. That's how you reconcile a bank 